What's up you guys, it's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already done so, just take a minute right now and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA and join me on this journey, you guys, because I know you're coming back every week to watch the videos, so just, just commit to this relationship, okay? <laughs> all right, so let's get into this question. How do you show proof or keep track of all your shadowing hours, especially on Caspa? Okay, so with respect to showing proof or keeping track, um, on Caspa, it has your shadowing experience, your voluntary experience, or your work experience section in there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go to my Caspa video where I went through the Caspa application. So just type that into the search bar. Um, you'll be able to find that and you can go through and see exactly what I'm talking about. But in that, it has you list the site, the amount of hours, exactly what your duties were. And then it also gives you like the information for the contact uh, information for the people that you actually did the shadowing or work with. And then it asks, are you able to contact, is the school or are we able to contact these people with respect to your shadowing hours there's not really um somewhere that you can keep track i mean you can take it upon yourself to be like hey you know what let me write something up can you just say that um can you sign this saying that i've done these this amount of hours with you and that is fine so that if the school you know wants some type of proof you can be like oh well here it is and you can provide the proof yourself some schools on their application, they have a sheet where you yourself have to actually print this sheet off of CASPA's website and then bring it to the school or whoever it was that you did your shadowing with or you worked with and get them to fill that information out for you and sign it. I had to do that with one of the, with two of the schools that I applied to. So I had to get my preceptor or my shadowing preceptor that I actually um, shadowed under to sign off on all the hours that I shadowed. Now, not every school does that and that's where it's a matter of you still have to be honest because they reserve the right, you guys, to confirm everything that you put in your application. So if you're sitting up here and you're lying about the amount of hours that you shadowed or where you shadowed, and then the school decides to contact those people, it's like, well, no, they never shadowed with us, or um, you know, it's your mom or something that you have answering the phone, and she's like, no, what? Nah. Like, you know, she's like, no, I don't, no, they didn't shadow, or like, shadowing, what are you talking about? Because um, she's just flustered and not prepared for the conversation, and then you're gonna be in trouble, you know, you're not gonna get in. So definitely, you keep track of it on CASPA's website, uh, you put all of the information that you have in there, and then if they require you to actually print out the application, um, print out the paper from the application, do it that way. Or you just have your own little notebook or you know, shadowing hour sheet that you wanna keep for yourself so that in case anything happens, you have a backup, you have it there at your disposal. But that's how you do it. Hopefully this answered your question. And if you have any other questions that you may want me to answer on a PA Q&A, please go ahead and do so and leave it in the comment section below. I will be sure to get to them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA and subscribe to my channel right now. All right, talk to you guys next time. Bye.